Uh, we're Team Nanotrack. This is Skylar, Tunde, Mo, Dan, and I'm Nick. And uh, we're here to present uh, our first deliverable for Senior Design. And let's see it. This is our first deliverable, and what we're doing is we're going to be testing our tracking al uh, algorithm on MATLAB. So here we have a computer with MATLAB on it. We have a webcam, and we also have a piece of paper with a single color object against a white background. And what, what the MATLAB code does is it takes a video of the single colored object on a white background, and uh, it splits the video up frame by frame, and then it calculates the center of mass of the object. And then we'll, we'll compare the... Um, the algorithm center of mass x y coordinates to human calculated uh, x y coordinates. Okay, so now we're ready to start our test. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move this uh, single colored object against the white background. Uh, we're going to move it around, and the webcam will record the video into MATLAB. MATLAB will store that video and then split it up frame by frame to compute the center of mass. So we're ready to get started here and uh, start running the program. This is just a video preview to ensure that the object stays within the view of the camera. We're going to record 20 seconds, which ends up being 300 frames. Now it's done recording. And uh, now MATLAB has split up the video frame by frame. Every 30th frame it extracts and then computes the center of mass. And as you can see here, uh, we have drawn a red circle in the middle of the frame indicating what our algorithm outputted as the center of mass. The success of the algorithm is determined by two main points. The mean algorithm error must not exceed 10 pixels and no single error value can exceed 20 pixels. Okay, a human tester will score each frame individually, a total of 10 frames. Now this is an example. Estimating the center of mass by pen and ruler and in this case, I would say that the center of mass is, a, is at 200 and 150. Now, after going through each frame, we'll generate a, a, a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet of the results in Excel, and calculate the error. After going through each frame and computing the error, we find that the average error was 1.69 and the maximum error was 2.87. And both of these values are below the uh, threshold that determine our sec uh, the success of the test. Uh, now that Mo has shown that our test was successful and that uh, the computer algorithm matched where a human would perceive the uh, object to be, um, the next phase is to take this algorithm and actually implement it in hardware on the uh, Altium Nanoboard NB2 FPGA. Um, but once we have that, uh, it'll be outputting an actual uh, coordinate value, and we'll be able to use that to drive a uh, control system that will be implemented on the FPGA. So our next step is to take this, once again, put it on the FPGA, and uh, move from there. We hope you enjoy watching our video. The test was successful, and the project's going to be successful. So enjoy your, the next feature. <laughs>